Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name is Jesse, I'm here at Car Place along Leach Highway in Melville and today we're taking you through a 2018 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. We hope you enjoy the video, let's begin. Starting off by revealing some key features of the vehicle, 11 airbags, power windows, daytime running lights, GPS satellite navigation, 14 speaker stereo system, that's a record breaker, and of course Bluetooth, AUX and USB connectivity. Starting the tour of the vehicle, as you can see the front presents immaculately. The colour contrast of the white, the black, the chrome finish along the front and the metallic grey here, it just looks great. We've got some parking sensors along the side. We have a front parking camera as well just beneath the bold Toyota uh, badge. As I mentioned before, daytime running lights, a very sleek professional cut of light. We also have the light uh, uh, cleaners. These things come out and a bit of spray comes up and hits that, cleans that should you so desire, should you need it. And I think the last feature we're gonna to touch on at the front here is actually uh, along the windscreen, guys. That is a front dash cam. Rear dash cam is fitted as well. If recording your drives day or night, uh, that's really gonna help with any insurance claims should an accident happen to occur. Okay, that's the front done. Follow me around to the right hand, sorry, the left hand side. And our first feature, the tire. Now it's important you guys see all four of them. We are gonna show all four. And noticing the first, great condition, not a single scratch along our rim. 17 inch alloy, very thick, juicy tire around the side. Our side mirror, indicator. I can see here this has the blind spot indicator. So guys, if you wanna change lanes and there's a car next to you, instead of taking your eyes off the front of the road, this is gonna let you know whether it's safe or not to change lanes, okay? Moving on. Now I'm a tall guy and I, even I had trouble getting in. Don't worry, there's a stool, uh, sorry, not a stool, a step here to assist in the entry of the vehicle. Chrome finish along the bottom as well. Privacy glass along the back, a darker tint on this back window than compared to the tint on the front, and which is another point to notice here, the windows are fitted with tint already. But if you've got valuables, if you've got youngsters in the back seat, this is just adding an extra layer of privacy and security for you. Our back, right, sorry, left hand tire. Once again, get a close look there. We do have minor scratching there on the side, but for the most part, great nick. Lastly along the side, not only do we have the vertical roof racks, we also have the horizontal roof racks as well. Okay, as we make our way around the reverse of the vehicle. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the video guys, but in case you do, I'm gonna point it out to you. Um, this car is a little bit dusty, okay? But that's all right. We've only just received it and it is yet to be placed through with the detailers and the washers, but don't worry. Upon delivery of the vehicle, it is gonna look sparkling uh, clean. Okay, you know what? Before we jump into the boot, I'll tell you, a full-sized spare tire. Check out the antenna. You can talk to aliens with this thing. Reverse camera here, and of course, a fitted tow ball for your trailer with the electricity connection here. Okay, revealing the boot space. Now you might think, oh, that's hardly any boot space. Relax, check this out. Your third row of seats, I'm gonna say that again, your third row of seats folds down, and there you go, plenty more space. Your third row of passengers do have a drink cup holder on the left and the right, with of course their seat belts. And the final feature along the back here is your 220 volt uh, power supply. Hook up a blender, hook up a microwave, hook up your laptop, you name it. Bob's your uncle. Okay. And I might touch on, it feels like I'm entering a theater here. Great condition on the inside, it looks great. The cream, the black, the white, awesome contrast. Hey, you know, while I'm here, and sorry to turn my back to you, a little jig 
but they are a little bit tricky to open, not gonna lie. Uh, there's all your tools for the um, changing of the tire, should that circumstance ever arise. And just to save time, extra tools here, extra storage space in that panel. Bang, closed, done. Lastly, the parking sensors on the back. This is a large vehicle, of course. Land Cruiser Prado, they are gonna come in absolute handy when it comes to reverse parking uh, the vehicle. Okay, right hand side of the vehicle, my friends. First, we're touching on our back right hand tire. Not a single scuff along the wheel. Sorry, the rim, the wheel as well. And it's time to enter the back. Look at that, that is a leather interior, leather seats. But before I talk more about the seats, here is our uh, leather door as well. Color contrast, it's looking great. Very regal, very thunderous appearance, if you don't mind. Electric windows and be my guest. Noticing our fishnet storage on the back of the passenger and driver seats and our air conditioning controls, which is separate from the front air conditioning controls, might I say, in the center. We already have a phone charger equipped in the 12 volt power supply. Leather seats, what more could you ask for? Entering the front, once again, great color contrast that continues throughout the entirety of the car. All access to all four windows, window lock and easy unlock and lock of the vehicle. Bit of storage down here for a couple of drink bottles and one of your 14 speakers in the door. Uh, push start engine and then push stop engine, your side mirror controls. A couple of other features here that in order to save time, we won't go through every single detail. The steering wheel on the left and right hand side, you've got your radio, volume and phone controls, cruise control settings there as well. And I've made my way around the other side to point out some features here. From the top, moving down, air conditioning from the top, you've got a very large plasma screen in the center with your radio controls, volume controls, air conditioning, storage here. That's quite deep as you can see how far my hand is going back. Four wheel drive controls here, you know, hill assist, traction control, two drink holders. You can tuck them away as well nicely. Your gear stick with all the usual suspects. 12 volt power supply, heated seats, aux and USB. And the best part of this car. You didn't think cars could get any better. You didn't think they could think of anything else, but they have. This is a cooler box. I'm gonna say it again, this is a cooler box. It is, it's basically an esky. Turn the power on, it gets cold, you can fit, I don't know, you can fit a whole six pack in there, I reckon. Now don't quote me on it, but it's very close. So that's awesome, that's such an incredible feature about this car. And as we zoom out, guys, it's the leather seats, the visors, you've got your mirror, you've got your light, it's the same on the other side. And of course your light controls in the center here. Touch it, touch it again, it's off. Okay. As I return to this side, I'll take the opportunity now to pop the hood. We'll get to that soon. Two more features on the right hand side, our snorkel. Guys, if you've taken this four wheel drive into some really rugged terrain and you are taking it underwater. It, they call it a snorkel for a reason, right? It's that extra ventilation, that extra oxygen, that extra breathing for the engine. To the right hand side, top right hand, I mean, no single scuff on the rim. Practically a brand new tire, plenty of tread, looking great. What more can I say? You've seen all four tires now, you know they're in great condition. And now it's time to reveal to you the goods under the hoods. See that? Just a little lift automatically lifts the hood for me. Soundproofing board along the top. You know how engines can be. They're pretty loud, right? That's gonna help reduce the noise. Check it out guys, the engine bay is in very good condition. 
The fuel type of the car takes diesel, course four wheel drive, if you didn't know already, 2.8 litre engine, sports automatic transmission. The car has done just under 63,000 kilometres. And noticing, notice just how simple, there's very minimal effort there pulling that down. Hoods can be notoriously difficult to manoeuvre. That was very simple. Customers, that brings us to an end of today's video. Thank you so much for your time. If you're interested, click on the link below. Give us a call. We would love to progress with you. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.